Hey, it's Joseph again from the Contextual Behavioural Science Lab at University College Dublin, and very welcome back to our series on procrastination. So far, this series, or the aim of this series, has been all about supporting you around your procrastination, so that it's less of an obstacle in your academic life. Of course, a secondary aim has been for me to make as many pop culture references as possible. So given that we're all human, there are going to be times when we take a step back, back into procrastination again. And I know that when this happens for me, up comes that critical voice. So laddering on the self-criticism. So that really caustic, harsh, critical way of speaking to myself. And this is the way that many of us respond when we take a step backwards. But actually the more helpful thing to do much of the time is to respond with self-compassion, to offer ourselves kindness. And that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. So as I say, that sort of self-compassion and kindness doesn't come easily for most of us. But conversely, many of us are very good at offering that sort of kindness and compassion to others, to our friends, to our family, to the people we care about most in life. So through the course of this video, we're going to be looking at how we can offer up some of that kindness and compassion that we're so good at offering to others. So looking a little bit at how we can bring that back to ourselves. And just for a moment now, allowing the eyes to close, just bring to mind a loved one. That may be a family member, a friend, but someone you care deeply about. And just taking a moment to allow yourself to connect to those deep feelings of care, kindness and compassion that you hold for each other. So just allowing yourself to feel and connect to those And if it feels okay to do so, perhaps just asking yourself, if I was a good friend, how would I speak to myself? If I was to treat myself like someone I cared about deeply, what would I do for myself? Just allowing each, each of those questions to land with you. And then, in your own time, just becoming aware of the room around you again, the sounds and the sights in that room. And in your own time, allowing the eyes to open again. Lastly for today, we want to think of our brainstorm, some small acts of kindness, of self-compassion that we could extend to ourselves. Because compassion is the gift we give ourselves. Now these don't need to be massive, earth-shattering acts of compassion or kindness, just something small that cares for us, that nourishes us. So for example, my small act of kindness is just going for a walk, popping my headphones on and listening to some of my favourite music. 
Also, we've included in the description underneath the video some really excellent resources from the fabulous Dr. Mary Welford. Do go and check Mary out on Twitter at Dr. Mary Welford. And give a look as well to the hashtags, hashtag 365 days of compassion and hashtag advent of compassion. Very finally then, just a massive thank you to everyone who's joined us each week, who's liked and watched and subscribed. We hope you've gotten something useful from this series, something that will help you with your procrastination. And of course, as always, very best of luck on your escape from procrastination.